<sighs> guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you're especially a UFC fan. Now, I've talked about how Pereira can beat Adesanya. Let's talk about how Adesanya can beat Pereira. Okay, what I'm going to do is talk about something that you don't see Adesanya do very often. He might need to wrestle in this fight, and I'll tell you why. We emphasize that this is MMA and not kickboxing, but this is still the third fight they're going to have. MMA, you can throw knees, you can throw elbows, you can um, wrestle, you can go for submissions, you can grapple, do all these things. I think given that Adesanya has 20-something fights of MMA experience and Pereira only has five, six fights of MMA experience, I will test that. If I'm Adesanya, I'm going to go, you know what? This guy's knocked me out on the feet. I can have success on the feet against him, but he's beating me here. I might need to take this fight to the ground, and I will, if I think that's a key thing he should do. Well, as far as setting up a takedown, because I think Pereira is going to have in his head, okay, he knows I've beaten him here on the feet. He might might try to take me down. Let's say Adesanya is going to do what he always does. He's going to try to maintain his distance. He might not even be aggressive in it early on. He might be just be setting up a timing trying to figure out Pereira's movements and get himself more comfortable in this fight. Not to say he's scared to get hit, but the same approach it takes for all his fights. You know, Don't take any more hits than you have to and look for the openings. I think once Adesanya has, uh, has um, gone two, three minutes in and uh, has, has proven, okay, I'm willing to stand with you, but I'm going to do like I always do, that's the moment when I think, boom, he should go in for a takedown or do something and take him to the ground. Um, Pereira has already been submitted one time in his career, so I would say go for another rear naked choke or anything on the ground. Here's the thing with Adesanya. Adesanya has never shown his grappling nowhere near as much as his striking. But now that he's fighting a guy that's not very experienced, that's a horrible matchup for Pereira, you know? And I said it before, Pereira, I mean, Adesanya has a big advantage here. If Adesanya can take him to the ground, he can submit him with an arm bar, rear naked choke, there's guillotine chokes, there's knee bars, camora locks, key locks, everything he wants to do. Triangle chokes. Arm triangle where he's on top of him. I think Adesanya will look for that more in his fight, you know. It would be cool to see him get his first ever submission win, you know. Why not? If you've already been beat standing up, why would you? Because I really don't think that maintaining his distance and doing the point fighting like being mobile a whole time is going to work against Pereira. See, because in the back of his head, he knows he's already been knocked out. So I think Pereira has that mental edge. But the new mental edge for Adesanya is, okay, now this is MMA. So now I don't have to stand with you if I don't need to. I can take you to the ground. Um, And I'm one of those guys that wants to see an exciting fight. But I'm also a guy that pulls for the guy that knows how to win fights. Adesanya knows how to win fights, obviously. I think in this fight, you see him take him down, try to go for a submission. He might actually, he probably will submit it within two rounds. If Pereira wins this fight, he'll knock out Adesanya by the second or third round. If Adesanya wins, he'll submit him in the first, mid, late first round or early, mid second round. This fight will not go to distance. I know that. But uh, for Adesanya to win, I think it's imperative he gets him to the ground as soon as possible.